Hey, you guys. So I wanted to pop in and share a valuable tip and tool with you guys, especially if you're like me and you have that busy lifestyle and you are go, go, go between the kids, the work, the activities, taking care of yourself, still having time for your partner, all the things, right? So if that's you and you're struggling to how do you make these healthy choices with that full plate and with all that going on, and this is one of the things that I do and that I use as a tool to be able to do all the things and yet still maintain my weight if I wanted to lose weight. Like it's the thing that allows me to make healthy choices day to day without making the whole healthy eating thing overwhelming and spending hours of meal prep time and all of that, right? So that is the way to keep it is to keep it simple. And what I mean by that is like, I'm looking at my protein shake container here. And I think I posted it the other day, but basically I have about three, maybe five different breakfasts that I will have on any given day throughout the week. And sometimes I'm intermittent fasting a little bit more. So that breakfast may be moved to be like like 11 o'clock type of a breakfast or even it just goes right to lunch. I think you guys know sometimes I have a salad with protein for breakfast sometimes. So whether that's for breakfast or for lunch, it's the same thing. But essentially, I keep it simple. I keep my healthy eating choices simple, my healthy meals simple. And what I mean is like have three to five different go-to healthy meals that you can just either eat every most days or you intermix those within your week. And those three to five meals, you can also, you should be able to like switch up the components. So what I mean by that is let's go with breakfast. So for breakfast, one of my go-to meals is a protein shake with a piece of whole wheat or sprouted toast with some peanut butter on it and um, maybe half a banana with that, and that's it. Like that I probably have two to three times out of the week. That is a go-to breakfast for me. Literally takes me five minutes to make and I can move on with my day, get going on the things, right? Everybody has that time. So that's one of my healthy breakfasts. That's a go-to for me, right? Now, the way I can change that up is I could have a chocolate protein shake could have a peanut butter protein shake. I could have almond butter on my toast. I could do sourdough toast and with the peanut butter, right? So there's different ways I can switch that up. And another one of my go-to breakfasts is a protein smoothie. So that's when I actually use the blender and put all the things in the blender and literally, again, takes maybe five to eight minutes, like if I'm sh battling with the like frozen bag. So right there, quick, easy breakfast. You can take it on the go. You could even put it in a, you know, um, thermos type container if you do have to run out and get errands done or whatever with the kids or even at home. So protein smoothie is my second one. Same thing. I can switch that up. I can put in a different flavor of protein powder. I can put in a multitude of different fruits um, or do no fruit. I can put in spinach for a vegetable. I can put in frozen rice cauliflower. I can put in zucchini. I can make it a pumpkin smoothie. I can make it an apple cinnamon smoothie, right? So there's all these different variations of that one simple meal, right? So you guys get in the picture here. Let's do one more. So another go-to of mine for breakfast or lunch or really any time is a big ass salad with some protein on it. So essentially that's, I like do bagged lettuce so it's easy. And then I'll usually like have one of those cabbage mix salads, sprinkle some of that on. And then whatever protein I have around. I might fry some eggs if I'm home. I might um, just use some hard boiled eggs that were pre-cooked, pop those on. Um, some leftover barbecue chicken, what we have in the fridge right now. Might be um, a leftover turkey burger, to be honest. Uh, I've done that. Or some ground meat from the day before. So whatever protein I have on hand goes on top of that big ass salad. And that's my meal. And sometimes I will have a piece of sprouted toast on the side. Sometimes not. 
Um, if you wanted to put in a little carb in that, you could put some beans or sweet potatoes in that too, right? So that salad, again, that's a simple go-to meal, literally tossing some bagged salad together Ooh, or getting crazy if you're like pulling out the romaine and actually doing it yourself. And then whatever protein you have on hand, you could even take a tuna packet, y'all, if you're like, I don't have the time, I don't have leftovers. Okay, fine. Not gonna get away with that here. Grab a freaking protein packet, open that thing up and slap it on the salad. Done that too, okay? Um, this is not a mindset video, but there is a mindset behind how do you make those choices um, more naturally instead of being like, oh, like I don't know what I have, I don't know what to do. We'll work on that in a different video. But for now, we're talking about these meals. So we have these different simple go-to meals that you can also create variation in within the meal based on what you have, right? So that is one of the keys to how I'm able to have all these healthy habits, no matter how busy life is. Because y'all, I'm busy, you're busy, there are people like we like that work two jobs and go to school and do all the things, right? So that's not the issue, it's not the time, it's you not knowing what to do or how to do it, or what does that look like? So here's some insights. Take this and find your three to five go-to meals. I just gave you some examples there. Um, I do have a meal plan by the seat of your pants um, PDF guide. If you want that, reach out, like message me on this video or let me know, and happy to send that over to you. Um, yeah, so that's my tip. I'm thinking about you guys today while I see my protein shake here. I feel like I've already had that easy, simple breakfast two times this week already, maybe three. Um, but having planning out those three to five meals that you can have as your breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So that is your go-to. Like come hell or high water, you can always have, like I always have the bag salad on hand. Always have some tuna in the pantry or some chicken in the pantry always have eggs like these things are certain things then that I will always on hand to protein powder to make these meals so once you identify those three to five meals then you just make sure your pantry is stocked with those things which I use instacart so that I can order my groceries and not waste any more time having to go get all the things they deliver it to my door thank you so right there and then you've got healthy meals you could have all week long and never have a question of what you're going to eat. And listen, even if it's like eight o'clock at night and you did a late night workout and you had a long day, you could have the protein shake, the piece of toast, and some half a banana for your supper. Like you can interchange those meals even. But think about that. That's basically nine to 15 go-to meals. And like, I don't, I've been doing this for years, you guys, years. So. I don't get sick of it. I think we all know we have some of those meals that we could eat over and over and over and over again. And that's how you make it easy, right? There's the fact that our brains use so much energy and fuel just to make decisions on a day-to-day -day basis. And we get bombarded with that stuff all the time. So yeah, I understand why like your brain is like overwhelmed to be like, I don't know what to eat. I don't know what healthy choices to make, how much and what do I do? Like, yeah, it's okay, I get it. And this is a way to make that part of your life, like just no brainer, simple, easy, not another thing you have to worry about or add to your plate, okay? And if you need help with this beyond this video, if you're like, I hear you, but like I really could just use that extra level of help, support, and accountability, then absolutely reach out for one-on-one -on -one coaching or for the group coaching program that I offer. And coming to you soon, a 90-day Ultra Life Challenge. It's gonna be a, separate from the group and the one-on-one -on -one coaching that I offer. It is a specific 90-day, like, let's go all out challenge that will be launching later this month. So if you are interested in any of those, ready to take your results to the next level, absolutely reach out. If not, go run with this. Go find those three to five meals and have those things on hand so that you can make healthy eating so simple and such a no-brainer. All right, you guys, we'll see you next time.